Hello everybody, this is Deshaun Johnson and I am doing a very different video. This is going to be more of a helpful piece of content to actually be able to give the teachers that's still in the classroom a new resource. As you know very well know, even though I have my criticisms about education all throughout my entire channel, <laughs> I do offer resources still to better help the teacher that is still in the classroom as I myself am still in the classroom, which allows me to do a lot of experimentation. So today's video, what we're going to talk about is how to make any video interactive without having to use something such as Edpuzzle. Now, what is Edpuzzle? If you do not know, this is a website where you're able to, and you can create a free account here, but you're able to upload pretty much any video, all right? Um, I think they used to do it by minutes, but now they just do it by a piece of content. So it doesn't matter how long the video is, but you can upload a video and you can add questions to it. You can put voiceovers over it. You can edit it, whatever the case may be. This allows you to make the video interactive. All right, but I'm going to show you an alternative besides using Edpuzzle. And that is actually going to be using it through iMovie. Now, this is going to require you to actually have some editing skills. But it's going to allow you a little bit more creativity than you would actually have with Edpuzzle. So I'm going to show you a few tricks of the trade, how to make any video interactive using iMovie or any video editor for that matter for your students. So we're going to have some just good old stock footage. We're just going to put this down in here. All right, we're just going to make it whatever, right? Okay, right now there's no sound to this or anything like that. There's no sound. So what you can actually do, so kids today basically... <laughs> <laughs> uh, not only do kids not want to read they don't want to watch videos anymore either for me a video to be a very popular form of media they do not want to watch your videos so how do you get them to watch your videos and that's the whole point of this video and I'm going to show you that so you need to make this interactive and how are you going to do that well here we have this little thing right here so we have a list of items that we can actually add to our video where they have to kind of play this game of, you know, spot the hidden image within the video as it may pop up at any given point in time. So what I would do is I would create a little uh, Google slide like this. And let me go to my Google deck so you can see that. So I just create this in Google slides. So it's easier for you to just, you know, look for the following. Listen, listen for the following sound in the video. So look for a UFO sound effect. And then they have to look for these images and I tell the students it may not even be in this color you're gonna look for a stick of butter it may not be yellow but it will be in a video a dragon and an image of Tupac Shakur all right so where did I get these flat icons from I got them from this website flaticon.com all right you can pretty much find I right, for the Tupac when I just typed in rapper and I think it just popped up like there there we is there goes out we even got one at imitate Snoop Dogg a little bit all right so I just went on ahead and just kind of got these off of here, all right, and I just added it to my Google slide deck here. So they need to find these three images as they will randomly appear throughout the video. Now, with that being said, we can also add questions, all right? We can also add questions if you're using iMovie. So I'm going to show you the way that this is done. So what I would usually do is I would put this image and this like I said, you can actually, even if you're not using iMovie, if you're using Adobe Premiere or whatever the case may be, but iMovie is going to be rather simple and I think accessible to a lot of people, even if they don't have a um, video editing skills. So it's going to be very accessible. iMovie is very linear, whatever. But at the beginning of the video, basically what's going to happen is that students are going to, my voice is going to play over this. It'll read something like, listen for the following sound in the video, look for the following images, okay? And that, that was just to introduce to them so they could prepare that even though they're going to watch a story video, this is to add on to their, this is to help them grab their attention, have a little bit more investment. That's what you want to get the students with. So if they're watching some history video or whatever, you, you want to try to find ways where they can actually have just a little bit more investment into the video that they're actually watching. And this is a good way. This has worked for me uh, ever since I actually started doing it. So I thought I'd actually make a video and just share it with somebody else that may be struggling with getting keeping kids' attention throughout the entire video. So um, I'm going to find the little icons here. There goes my stick of butter. Okay, so here we have the uh, UFO. 
sound effect, the stick of butter, the wrapper, and the dragon image. So we're going to put it all there. Okay. And I'm going to show you how this, we're going to insert this. So if at some point in time, the butter is going to appear randomly. Uh oh, let me take it on all three of them. Let me click off of that. So I want the stick of butter to appear first. So when they're watching the video, all right, we don't want that. We don't want it to do that. So we want it to go up here to uh, cropping. We want to just go to fit. So the whole entire image will pop up. Then we're going to go up here to picture in picture. That's what we want. We want it to be small. So you, what you want to do is you want to make this as unnoticeable as possible because the, the, the kids are supposed to be hyper-focused. That's the whole point. They need to be hyper-focused when looking at this. So I have, I'm, I'm going to put the stick of butter here. We're going to shrink this down to about two seconds. We don't want it to appear too long because, like I said, this isn't for kids to easily get. And we want it to have a fade-in effect because you want it to be in and out. So I'm going to come back up here. And then I'm going to go to color. Nope, 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 not that one. I'm going to go to clip filter. This is easier to just change it this way. And we're going to make it white because um, it is hidden within this mirror image. So when I now add it, I'm going to go ahead and let it play. So it'll just pop up as the video's playing. Just boom, just in and out. And what you would do is you would get the kids to timestamp. Um, they have to tell you at the timestamp when they actually saw this particular stick of butter pop up at now if i wanted to do the tupac one over this angry gentleman okay same thing want to shrink that down to about two seconds okay then i'm going to now hit picture in picture okay and same thing we're going to make this fit okay we want we want our tupac not to be so easily um readable so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink them down some okay and we're going to make it more challenging for the kids to see where our tupac image is going to pop up at and maybe we'll keep it into a day and night thing to see how that works now that's still still ready to be visible it's going to be easy to see on the black um, side like that so i'm going to go back let's go back to a picture um no so maybe uh, we could do a side. No, let's do this. We'll do a, like a little noir. Okay. And we'll try to reduce the opacity down. So let's see if I can actually reduce the opacity um, down to this. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay. That's not the opacity. Uh, but any way to reduce the opacity, that's what I want. I cannot find where to reduce the opacity. Um, but in any case, though, that's what you want to do. There was, I think there was a way to actually reduce the opacity, and now I can't remember what that is. So, uh, but we want to be able to put it to where it's not going to be easily seen to that way to make it very challenging for the students. Now, the same thing can actually go for the uh, audio piece. So what I can actually do here is I can put the audio piece here. We'll shrink that down. All right, so we'll bring that down to about 13%. So when I play it over, it's like this okay now pretend that whatever video they're watching this is going to be low enough to where they're listening to the video but the sound is going to pop up so you may want to lower it even more and they have to be able to like you know they may be into the video and then it's like whoa, whoa what was that sound that was a ufo sound and then they still have to give you the timestamp of when that pops up so um that's what that's what that would be and same thing with the Tupac image. I know there's a way to reduce the opacity, so forgive me for that. But, uh, but yeah, if you can reduce the opacity, maybe we need to put this in like a Photoshop program and just do it there. But I thought we could do it in-house on iMovie. So leave a comment below to correct me on that. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to spend time trying to do that. So once we actually have our video made, we can also have, oh, another thing, we can also to add questions within the video, okay? So I'm going to add a question like maybe on this last clip. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to backgrounds. And let's just get a plain black image for now. Just so you can actually see. We can actually, the words will be visible. All right. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make this picture in picture. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That should be. Uh, let's see. That's okay. 
Let's do picture and picture. All right, uh, something's not right here. Okay, let me do. Let me delete that. Okay, let's go to. Let's use the stars. I don't know what happened there. Okay. All right. Right now we're going to do that fits. That's what we want. We want it to be. There we go. All right, perfect. That's what I wanted. I don't know what happened to that other one, but we want to be able to do picture in picture. Because we're going to large this out and we're going to move this down. And you're going to see what I'm doing here in a second. All right. So now I'm going to move that down just like that. And then over this little background image, I'm going to go down the title. I'm going to put a lower third here. Okay. I'm just going to choose this for now. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the text. Then I'm just going to type a question. Why is this person so angry question mark and then we'll just go ahead and we'll click off of that so when we scan over it all right why is this person so angry but what we want to happen is we want this to go into a freeze frame effect i want this clip to go into a freeze frame effect because when it intro when a clip is introduced we want we want to be able to have a pausing effect so that way we give the students time to actually uh, think about the question for the question to be asked and we can actually have a discussion on it uh, You can actually pause on it of course, but we want to add a freeze frame So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click. And I'm gonna just add freeze frame All right, and I'm going to stretch this out. Actually, I'm going to stretch this part out over here So that way as we can see when it plays over Okay, it's gonna stop and will give us some time to actually ask the question or for it to be discussed and then it'll disappear. We can actually move this back maybe some. All right. So we play that again. So by the time the question disappears, the video will resume back. All right. So once we're actually done with the video, what we need to do next is we need to include an accountability piece. Because while it's fun to point out those things, they have to do something with the information. And they have to prove that they actually have been paying attention and how they actually discovered it. So what we want to do next is what I usually have been doing is I come to Google Forms and what we can actually do is we can actually create a form. You know, we want to make a, a little segment where they have to put their name. So I'll put something like first and last name. Okay. You know, automatically go to short answer because the AI detects that. The coding AI detects that. Okay, well, this person just needs a little short space into their name. We'll name this you know interactive video okay so just to put a simple header for your students and with this because I know we're now in the Chromebook era so if you want to the Google form is good because you can either you know give them a Google form or you can print this out if they don't have computers and just serve both sides all right depending on if you have your own class set of laptops or if you don't then you could just print this out and right now, I would imagine a majority of school districts have actually went the Google side in terms of providing a network and operations and how they're actually running their campus. So next, we're going to put today's date. Since I'm a middle school teacher, I will put class period. But for now, we'll keep it very general. That's also going to go automatic. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to ask, you know, maybe we include a question. Find or write down the timestamps for the following images and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter we'll say stick of butter then we'll say Tupac rapper dragon and then UFO sound effect all right and then, of course, when they hear these things, they have to then just, if it's on paper, they could just simply write the timestamp number. Hey, this popped up at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. The Tupac image popped up at 3-minute marker, so on and so forth. And then for the last question, what we may want to do is we want to go ahead and ask, uh, why is the woman angry? Okay, and then we'll make this like a paragraph because when it prints out, you want to give them as many lines as possible so they can actually write out their answer. Or maybe they want to keep it short. Maybe you just want them writing a sentence. I don't know. But this is the final piece. This piece has to be included 
I think it's very mandatory. Anytime that you have the students watch any form of a video, they have to do something with the information. And if you're keeping an interactive piece, then this is a good companion part to make sure that the kids are doing something with that information or being held accountable. If you want to add other questions here, you know, if it's a, a, a science video, then you could add your other science questions here and, and, and try to kill two birds with one stone. So you got an interactive part that you're collecting data on to make sure that they're paying attention and that they're actually in tune with the video. And that way you can go ahead and also ask other questions as well in regards to whatever subject you're teaching. So these are just a couple of methods that you can actually use in order to make any video interactive without having to use Edpuzzle. And there's going to be some other things that I'm going to be experimenting with in order to make we figure out how to make videos more interactive because you have to we have to continue to experiment, especially since we're competing against the likes of YouTube and TikTok and all these other social media platforms where kids have access to watch any the video they want. So why should they watch any video that you're offering? You know, so you have to make it engaging and you, we have to figure out how to actually make it still very much so interactive. So by adding these little pieces, it makes it into a little game for the students. OK, makes it into a little game. So feel free to extend on top of what I'm showing you here in this video. But yeah, add a little sound effect, a little hidden Tupac image. And then you can also add your own questions in here that can be asked and if you got you know the extra space you can probably add a multiple choice question at some point or even just you know cut into the footage directly to add your own multiple choice question and go into that and make your video even more super interactive from that piece that is going to be it for this video if you want to become a youtuber you want to make this type of content tutorial content for teachers have your criticisms you know i know a lot of teachers have a lot to say Feel free to check out my link for TubeBuddy below. Make it easier for yourself if you're just now getting started. It's going to be it. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless you all.